I'm a forester here and I'm thinking about blueberries this weekend. We've got some great weather and our blueberries are starting to uh, flower. I've worked blueberries into the uh, landscaping and uh, there's a bed of blueberries. Here's our second bed of blueberries. In all I think we have 25 uh, blueberry plants and we pick a lot of blueberries. We really don't need this many plants. We average about a gallon per plant, a gallon of berries per plant. Here's a close-up of some blueberry flowers in the very early stages. Each one of these flowers will form a blueberry. Let me zoom in close and just see if you can uh, get a close-up of the flower. I'll take another video in a week or two when the uh, bees are working these flowers pretty heavy. One thing that's important is to have two different varieties of blueberries planted. Uh, this is one variety, it's called Climax, and this is one that I prefer. It doesn't have as many flowers or berries, but I, they're bigger berries and I, I like the taste better. This is another variety right here and this one is called Tiff Blue. It has more prolific flowering but the uh, berries tend to be a little bit smaller. I don't go for maximum production of my uh, blueberries. I'm growing them under a canopy of pine trees so they're not they're not getting full sunlight. They like the acid soil that's formed by the pine straw, so that's a benefit, and I do fertilize them a little extra. If you haven't tried blueberries, they're easy to grow, and I'd recommend giving them a try. I'm planning to do a series of videos this summer uh, showing the blueberries uh, in the early stages, like now, and then when the bees are working them heavy and then as they mature and then when we finally pick and show the final product. It'll be interesting to uh, have a series of videos just updating that for our own records. Take care.